about selective color and a little bit more in depth on how to use it, um, what it really does, stuff like that. And again, I didn't really practice this tutorial beforehand, so I'm just going to literally wing it. Um, first thing that you're going to want to do is choose selective color. So you're going to want to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then selective color. Now, I use selective color a lot. Um, this is one of the images that I finished retouching, and I did add color to it, and I'll show you. I added just some violets in there, and that was using selective color, but I just want to show you guys, if this was a finished image, how could I change it with selective color? Um, the reason why I like it so much is because you can target specific colors and kind of give it like a different mood, and you can also bring up colors that were not there before. So, right now we're on the reds. Um color and as you can see I'm going back and forth with the cyan and I hope I pronounced that right first of all. Um, as you can see when I toggle back each and every individual color it changes the reds that are in the photo and it kind of gives it like a completely different look. I can change the, this whole photo just by toggling back the selective color um, options. So I'm just going to show you guys the reds. The ones that I use the most are reds, yellows, whites, neutrals, and blacks. I really hardly ever touch greens, cyans, blues, magentas. I just, I don't know, I, maybe I just take really strange colored photos that there's no greens or blues or anything. But most of my colors um, are yellows because um, that's the one that affects the skin tone as well as red. Um, so those are the most important ones. As you can see, again, I'm toggling back and forth, and you can see it's affecting skin tones, it's affecting the color um, of the dress that she's wearing. I can make it a little bit lighter, like a high-key photo, by just bringing back the blacks. You see how that makes a huge difference? Like, look at that. I literally just changed kind of like the tone of the photo just by using these two. Um, if you go to the whites, one really cool trick I like to do is if you pull back every single tab, it gives you, a, you know, pops those highlights out a lot. But you do want to be careful when doing this because it's going to bring out all the whites. So you can mask this off or you can lower the opacity to kind of have it just barely popping out the highlights. Very subtle. So I'm just going to bring all those back because I didn't mean to do that. But it is a very cool trick. Another one is neutrals. And neutrals, in my own definition, I feel, affect um, the broader areas of the photo. So it, new, neutrals, I use them when I want to change like the entire aspect of the photo. So, like, look, I just changed. This is, I'm just filling in all these extra colors. I really don't like to use neutrals unless I'm, I want to make a huge change to the colors of the photos. And I don't use black for neutrals ever because I feel like it's too harsh. One nice thing about neutrals, one thing that I do is I make the photo a little bit crazy colored. Like I'll go, I'll make it look like really strange like this. And it'll look like really awkward. Like you would never do that in a photo, right? I'll go to normal and then I'll go to color. I'll lower the opacity, I'll go to lighten, I'll just try out a lot of different layers with this weird coloring because the crazier you go, the diff the you know more obvious your photo will be if you go to screen. And you can see, you can even toggle it back and forth when it's on screen, you can see the differences, as you can see. Like you want to go back to normal. So that's neutrals. I'm going to keep it right there. Um, and then blacks is one of my favorites. If you go, if you lower the yellows, it creates blues. It replaces the blacks with the blues, which I love. And you can add magenta, which gives it like a really nice, it pops out the color a lot. If your photo is missing, colors and it looks really bland, I would recommend going to blacks 
and just giving it a little bit of magenta because it just kind of pops the picture out a little. Cyan, I don't really use it that much. I usually just use magenta and yellow. Blacks, if you really want to be like hipster, I mean, I'll just pull that back a little, but I think I like the way it is. But I mean, look at the difference in this photo, and I just used selective color. I actually added in a lot of extra color that wasn't there before. So if you're paying attention to, like pay attention to like right here, how it's adding in that extra color that was not there before. I actually kind of like this. It's kind of weird, right? And again, adding in extra colors all by one selective color layer. And I'll zoom that out. And you can also, you don't have to keep it on normal. You can go to color, which is less, um, it's less harsh if you go to color. You can kind of go 100%. Um, you could go to soft light. I personally wouldn't go to soft light. I would just, if I'm dealing with colors, I don't go to soft light overlay. When I deal with colors, I go to lighten, screen, well, very rarely screen, but I go to color, luminosity, and then lighten most of the time if I'm dealing with um, colors. Because I feel like um, if you're using selective color especially, it'll you'll get too crazy if you go overlay. Overlay will just kill it, like... You don't want it to look like that, unless you do. That's your preference. So, again, I just wanted to kind of go over, and, you know, if you want to ask about relative and absolute, honestly, I, I really never go to absolute. Let's see the difference. I just keep it on relative, but I'm sure there's a difference. Just keep it on relative, you guys, please. I <laughs> I'll figure out absolute later, but I'm sure it's very interesting in the way it works, but I just I haven't used it before. So, oh, that's kind of cool. Let's get an Andy Warhol in here. Okay. So just keep it relative, I'd say, and really experiment. I can't stress this enough. A lot of people just keep doing the same thing and they expect their pictures to come out differently. You can't expect different results with the same kind of stuff. So try new things and let me know how it works for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys start using selective color more.